Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I am your host Jack, and this is yet another video tutorial of how to use Photoshop Elements. Now, if you've noticed, uh, I'm currently using Photoshop Elements 8, but this tutorial will work also in 7, 6, and 5. If you have anything lower than that, try it out and maybe it will work for you. What we are going to talk about in this lesson is how to change canvas size. You may say, Jack, why on earth would I want to change a canvas size? What do I really care? Now, we're not looking at decreasing the canvas size. We are looking at increasing the canvas size so we can add something to the actual picture itself. And when you increase the canvas size, we can actually do this by keeping the picture on a certain point of the canvas, revealing some open area of the actual canvas, uh, so they say canvas or background, that we can actually put something on. In this lesson, we're going to be putting text onto our pictures. Now, why would you want to do this, you may ask? Well, a lot of people, or a lot of us, scrapbook. Uh, not I don't scrapbook a whole lot, but uh, my wife tends to like to scrapbook, and uh, this is a nice way to set the pictures up, so you put them on your page, you know, digitally scrapbooking. Everything is nice. The text is on the picture. You don't put it under it or beside it. or something. We're going to put it right on the picture itself. If you get the picture printed, it's actually on the picture again. So it makes it really nice. So let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. I have two pictures we're going to work with because I want to show you two different scenarios on how you would use this. The first thing I want to do is we are going to actually shrink the picture down. So I hit my uh, magnifying glass here, the zoom tool, and hit this button. And I just click on here, and I left click again, and we'll shrink it down. And what I'm going to do is, on this picture, we're going to do the same thing. Shrink it down a couple. There we go. And I have them docked up here in tabs, so we can just jump back and forth between the two. Now, the first one I want to show you is, we're going to increase the canvas size, and we're going to increase this canvas size by increasing the height of the picture. So we're going to add some canvas size down to the bottom. So let's go to Image, Resize, Canvas Size. Now, in playing around with this, getting ready for this video tutorial, I found that if you leave this as inches, it's going to make a mess of your picture. Let's change the height to 150. Check this out. Uh, let's say, uh, okay. So let's leave it at that. Look what happened. Look how big it made that picture. All right. So that will be a problem for you. I don't suggest you, uh, let's just undo that. I don't suggest you work in inches. Let me show you the right way to do this. Canvas size. Uh, if you see all that white come up, you, you've you had it set in inches, and uh, that's okay. You know, take your time and learn. We're going to change this to pixels. Now, what we want to do here is we want to raise the height of the picture, and we want to make sure that we just go to the bottom. We want the canvas to expand on the bottom. So, in your anchor point, what the anchor point does, each one of these is a different point of the picture. We're going to anchor the picture to the canvas. We're going to anchor it on top. That way the top is there. And let's raise the height to, uh, now let's try 300 pixels. And there you go. Now we have a nice white area right here to put some text in. Let's go ahead and open up our text tool. Seriously think I'll be uh, getting another computer here very soon. Uh, this computer is starting to really uh, throw some fits here. I must have used it too much. Now what we're going to do is click our text tool down here, and we are going to type in here, um, make it all caps. Like this. All right. Jordan senior year. Okay. So now we have that text in there. Now we got to do this move it, right, because it's not really centered. There's nothing really centered about that. And as you see, now we just added some flair basically to that picture. If you print this, this is now part of the picture itself and it looks really good, it stands out. You can always play around, you could double click it and change the font. As you can see, we can change the font. We could double click it and change the color of the font. Uh, let's see here.
and that is just how you kind of play. And you, you've done text before. We've done tons of topics and, and tutorials on text. So that's how we make it higher. That's the width. All right. I'm sorry, that's the height. <laughs> okay, that's the height. This is the width going across the page. When we go across the page like this, that's the width. So in this next picture, now we're going to make this one. And we want the text to be on the side here. So all you do is go up to Image, Resize, Canvas Size. This time, anchor it to the left. It'll anchor it over here. We're going to add it over here. Now let's add some width. Remember, change this to pixels. Don't uh, forget that. And let's add 250 and see what that looks like. And that's not enough. You go, well, that doesn't look quite right. Just go ahead, folks, and do it again. Resize. Canvas size, make sure you re anchor it with uh, 250 pixels. Whoops, see if you type something in there and don't set this to pixels first, it's going to assume that you don't know what you're doing. There you go. There you go. Now we have a nice area here. Now, the way you type into here, folks, is you just right click on uh, your text tool here and go to vertical. That'll put that text right in there, really nice. But before we do that, <clears throat> Excuse me. I thought we would give it a little bit more more flair, a little bit uh, stand out. And the way to do that is, instead of typing our text there first, let's go and select the marquee tool, and we're going to just select that white, just like this. Once that's selected, go to Layer, New Layer via Copy. And you'll see now we just have that white right there. Everything else is transparent. So what we're going to do is fill this color. It'll actually fill the picture, but you can't see it because it's transparent, right? So that's why it won't see it. Let's give it a nice uh, different background here. A blue. Grab our paint bucket tool. And I'm just going to stick it right on there. That's kind of more of a purple than a blue, I guess. But that's all right. You get the idea. Now let's click on our vertical text tool and put that right here. Um, Jordan Senior. Just like so. Click off of it. Double click it. All right. And we may have to select it up all the way up here. Uh, we can't see it because it's obviously the same color. So let's redo the coloring. Click OK. Click the Move tool so we can move that down a little bit. It's a little bit too high. And there we go. Once again, if you want to double click it, vertical and horizontal, you know, text is text. It all works the same. Let's go down here and find some uh, different font. Something that we want to play with. That looks interesting. And there you have it. Now when you put this in the scrapbook, again, the uh, text is there. And again, it's all one picture. So, folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial on canvas size. I know we haven't done something like this before. It's kind of, uh, you know, it's it's relatively an easy uh, lesson, I guess, to learn. And it's pretty useful if you do scrapbooking. If you've enjoyed this video tutorial, please, uh, by all means, stop by my website, jackstechcorner.com. You send in the opening. And uh, stop by there. I very much appreciate it. Uh, if, you, if you've if you enjoyed the video tutorials, pick up one of the copies of the DVDs. There are DVD exclusives on there. Videos that's never been seen before on YouTube. And there's new lessons for you on there that I'll never release to YouTube. Uh, they're just, I call them DVD exclusives. They're on the DVD. Uh, if not, on the website, at least sign up for the forums. We're, we're getting a lot of people in there. I see about uh, 200 people out of the... 3,300 some subscribers we have on YouTube. We got about 200 people in the forum. So, and I understand people don't like to sign up for everything. It, it gets to be a hassle, all these usernames and passwords. Um, and if you're not subscribed to the YouTube videos, please do so now. Click the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. And subscribe to my videos. Until next time, folks, keep those shutters clicking, keep the editors editing, and I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.